Thank you so very much. Thank you. And look, let me start off by apologizing for running late. Uh, but I certainly wanted to be here. And then I'm sitting next to a church member of mine. George, it's just good to be uh, with you today. Uh, hello, and thank you all for, and you know, I, came, I thought I came out, okay, for, for being here and for marching. Happy 10th anniversary to White Cane Safety Day. Look, we may have celebrated White Cane Safety Day for 10 years, but blind and low vision people have been contributing to Houston since its very foundation as a city. Yes, come on, give it up. Blind people have led in our churches, own successful businesses, conduct research that gives us new information about the world, serve their community, and make our arts and culture more vibrant. These contributions to our community are made possible through a combination of tools like white canes, accessible public transit, and the determination of blind people themselves to control their own destiny. Many sighted people may look at a white cane and respond with feelings of sadness or pity. They may not think that a blind person can travel in their community on their own. But in reality, the white cane is a tool for independence and a symbol of dignity, not something to be pitied at all. As a city, as a city, we must work together to ensure that there are no barriers to the independence of blind and low vision people. Yes. We must make sure that our sidewalks, our sidewalks and public rights of way are maintained fully and accessible. And let me tell you, I know in the city of Houston, we have to do a better job of maintaining our sidewalks. We can do much better than what we've done in the past. And we've got to make sure that companies are not pull it, putting their poles right in the pathway of sidewalks that make it difficult for people to navigate. And so I look forward to working with Marie Towns, my director of Office of Mayor with Disabilities, to help me to make sure that we make a better environment for those of you in our city. We need to expand our metro system so that anyone can live and work anywhere in the city And their choices and their choices are not restricted based on availability of public transit. Houston can and will be one of the most aggressive U.S. cities that advances and deploys a, a new technologies that will shape new businesses and improve our quality of life for blind people like autonomous vehicles. I will work together. I will work together to transform Houston into a more pedestrian-centered city. It's the kind of development that will not only benefit our blind and low-vision community, it is the kind of development that benefits everyone in our city and everyone in our region. This is what is possible when we put inclusion and equity at the center of all that we do. And with all that has been, with all that we have done, and all that is on the horizon, I am before you here today to proclaim what this resolves. And so let me, uh, let me read this. This is a proclamation coming from the city. Whereas the first white cane ordinance was passed in December 1930 in Peoria, Illinois, giving blind pedestrians protection and the right of way while carrying a white cane, veterans blinded during World War II were the inspiration for the deployment development of the white cane orientation and mobility techniques that are still used today. And whereas on October 6, 1964, a joint resolution of Congress was signed into law authorizing the president to proclaim October 15th of each year as White Cane Safety Day to honor the many accomplishments of citizens who are blind or visually impaired, as well as acknowledge the white cane as a tool for promoting independence. And whereas motorists should be aware that the law requires that blind pedestrians carrying a white cane or using a guide dog shall have the right of way, which is one of the many reasons that the Impact Fleet Texas Rehabilitation Association, the Mayor's Office with People with Disabilities, Workforce Solution Gulf Coast, Houston Commission on Disabilities, National Federation of the Blind, Houston Council of the Blind, 
Lady Lions, and National Federation of the Blind serve as advocacy organizations and support systems for Texans who are blind or visually impaired. And whereas on October 19th, 2017, White Cane Safety Day will be observed in Houston to help spread awareness of its importance. The city of Houston recognizes the white cane and the guide dog as mobility tools that foster safety, dignity, and independence for the blind and visually impaired. And therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim October 19, 2017 as White Cane Safety Day in Houston, Texas. And I am so proud of each and every one of you.